opportunities for uh, fights in the past, and uh, obviously we have a great one coming up uh, in February. We all know that boxing in New York City is like, uh, you know, it is the mecca. Um, not only did I make history here, a lot of other great fighters made history um, with myself. So, um, thanks for being here and uh, welcome. I want to mention February 9th at the Barclay Center in Brooklyn, where Golden Boy will be putting on, I believe, the second show of our relationship. And what better way to start the second show off like the first show? We always trying to outdo ourselves, at least make that attempt by making great matches that the fans and also the media who's going to write that night ringside or follow up starting Sunday, I guess, Monday and Tuesday into the weekend. So now we come back February 9th to bring on another great show with Danny Garcia, who is the WBC Ring Magazine champion and also Zab Super Judah, who I've been around and watched for many, many years. And his attitude and his mindset compared to when he started off as a pro, which is not a bad, bad resume. He can't be unestimated and disrespected of not coming with his A-game because everybody knows Zab Judah, know that Zab Judah comes and he comes to bring it. And, you, and he's in Brooklyn. And Garcia, who's from Philadelphia, and we know how, even though they're not doing well this year, but the Eagles and the Giants has always been a rival. And so, even though Garcia is not fighting nowhere like Eagles are playing, <laughs> but he's here to not only represent himself and his family, but the city a brotherly love in Philadelphia, which has a great tradition. Zab Judah and Garcia is going to bring on the best fights in that division. And believe me, I don't believe it's going to be an empty seat in that arena at the Barclays Center. I, I just don't. I mean, like I told Richard Chafer, right after the fight, with Danny Garcia and Morales, I said, man, listen, Zab Judah, they love Zab Judah in Brooklyn and New York, but Brooklyn, they love Zab Judah like they love a Mike Tyson. And let me tell you something, every barbershop, not only in Philadelphia or urban cities, in Brooklyn, in New York, in the five boroughs that's here in New York City, every barbershop and hair salon of African Americans is going to be at that fight. So I'm going to tell you, you're going to see a lot of real hair, weaves, <laughs> nails. I, I'm telling you, this. My, all my sisters here and everybody know that it's no disrespect. They know I'm telling the truth. That's going to be the talk of the barbershop, Zach and Garcia. But let me tell you something. I'm so glad to be part of not only great shows and a great promotional team as Golden Boy Promotion. To understand that we started off five and a half, maybe six years ago, saying that this day we will be where we want to do the best shows. And if it's competing with other promoters, then we won't get into that contest. We just do good shows and let y'all make that decision. So, the undercard also. I mean, you have great talent underneath the undercard that you can't sneeze at either. Trust me. There are some guys that you're going to say could have easily been main events on their own and carry their own weight. And so I'm a big, it's going to be very exciting to see that also. And so I'm going to let Richard and my next uh, 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 teammate or, or company come up and say what they have to say because, you know, I just think that when we get into this game of boxing, you want to fight the best when you're a champion. And so I say before I close, Danny Garcia, Zab Judah, they get a chance, and I believe they will, matter of fact, I know they will, they get a chance to be able to show with 
professional boxing is like and what we bring to and what they bring to the table and we bring to the table is that boxing is alive and well and I'm glad that Golden Boy is making that happen through the great fights month after month after month after month after month coming to the fans where now Showtime get a chance to now shine and be able to have big fights not only from the main event and the co-main event sucks, and the fights before that sucks. This is a card where you're going to come and say, I want to get there before the main event. When you can get people to come there before the main event, you know that you got a loaded gun card. You know you got a loaded gun card. For many, many times, in many years, and a lot of people here, y'all know, especially writers and everybody, you don't get dressed until close to the co-main event because you ain't gonna go watch the other fights because they don't mean nothing to you. They're not exciting. You read the list, you wanna know who fights. So I'm glad that this fight is a fight that you're gonna come February 9th on Showtime to see Danny Garcia defend his title against Zab Super Judah, who's a veteran who fought everybody, who has a style, who been in the ring, seen everything, and this will be a test for Danny to prove that any doubters out there, anybody just might say, well, Morales was a little bit of, you know, this, a little bit of that, because you're always going to have them. He's taking on someone that he don't have to fight, that's a living legend, that has a slick style, that's seen every style in his weight division that can bring an Azab Judah experience, a newfound faith is his life, his kids, his family. I watch interviews, I've seen segments of his second birth and his mindset. So I'm looking for a good fight. Thank you, Kelly is <coughs> giving me that. <laughs> so I'm letting you know, I'm gonna take care of later on, but not in front of you, but I, 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 I straighten it out later, but it's good. Thank you very much. And uh, Richard. So um, we will have a bunch of barber chairs set up in front of the Barclays Center and everybody will get a free haircut. No, just kidding. Uh, it, it, uh, you're absolutely right, Bernard. This is the kind of fight that we talked about uh, right after the great victory from Danny uh, Swift Garcia against Eric uh, Morales. Uh, that's a fight we wanted to get done. Uh, I know it's a fight Zab Chuda wanted and so it was really easy and quick to put it together because when you have two fighters who really want it, uh, then you know the result is uh, that the fight fans are going to create a great, great matchup. Bernard, you were right as well about the full house. <coughs> I'm convinced that we will have a sellout. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I had to circle it here. And twenty-five dollars for twenty-five dollars. Uh, start ticket starting at twenty-five dollars for this great, great matchup. I mean, that's like the price of a movie ticket. So. Uh, Really fantastic pricing, 25, 50, 100, and the most expensive seats are $200. Um, tickets will go on sale Monday, December 3rd at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern, and will be at uh, available for purchase at the Barclays Center and BarclaysCenter.com, and of course at Ticketmaster as well, and uh, the American Express box office at the Barclays Center. Um, it will be live on Showtime, so this is again no pay-per-view, this is live on Showtime, Championship Boxing at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, there will be some great uh, undercards as well, uh, Bernard mentioned that. If everything goes well tonight, we will have Danny Jacobs on again in a significant fight, and we will have uh, Peter Quillen on as well, defending his title, so it's going to be very much a great show. Uh, for, of interest for, for, the, for the Barclays Center, for Brooklyn, but really a card of uh, international significance since Danny Garcia is uh, the, uh, the, the world champion of WBC, WBA, and The Ring Magazine. I would like to um, thank uh, Melvina Latham, uh, for, uh, the chairwoman of the New York Athletic Commission, Fred uh, Mangone, uh, Chief Marketing Officer of the Barclays Center, of course, uh, Brad Yormark, the CEO, uh, of the Barclays Center, who sends his regards, he's down in Florida today, and uh, Bruce Ratner, the majority owner and developer of the Barclays Center. Uh, it is a pleasure now for me to introduce to you uh, Sean Seda, the Vice President of Programming for the Barclays Center.
Hello, Brooklyn. Uh, thank you for coming today. Um, on behalf of my team, Bruce Ratner, uh, Brett Yormark, and everybody else, and my colleagues, uh, we're so thrilled to, to host you, host the second uh, night of championship boxing at Barclays Center in Brooklyn on February 9th. Uh, our first boxing event at Barclays Center on October 20th was a great night of fights. Uh, we had a strong crowd of over 11,000 people, and the energy inside the arena was electric. Danny Garcia showed us why he is one of the most elite fighters in boxing. We're looking forward to having him step into our ring again. Brooklyn is known for raising uh, some of the best fighters in the sport, and we want Barclays Center to be the place to showcase that top talent. On our last card, we had talented Brooklyn Knights, and we're proud to continue that tradition with Brooklyn's own Zab Judah. Zab will be the first Brooklyn fighter to headline a boxing event at the Barclays Center. It is a perfect fit for our arena. Boxing has just begun at Barclays Center, and there's so much potential to continue growing the sport in Brooklyn. We want up-and-coming uh, Brooklyn boxers to aspire to fight at the Barclays Center, and we want our arena to be their ultimate goal. Thank you to Oscar De La Hoya, Richard Schaefer, Bruce Binko, David Itzkowicz, and the entire team at Golden Boy for helping us build a boxing franchise in Brooklyn. Their commitment and vision for Brooklyn has made this a special partnership. I also want to thank Stephen Espinoza of Showtime for the, for the great work he and his staff did for the last fight. We are so thrilled to have Showtime on board again for February 9th. I'd also like to re recognize Melvina Lathan of the New York State Athletic Commission for her support. One final thing I wanted to mention, it's very easy to get to the Barclays Center, 11 uh, subway stops, the Long Island Railroad, um, and 11 bus lines. So please come out, support the, the uh, February 9th fight. It's going to be a great fight, and we look forward to seeing you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, John. What a year it was uh, for boxing, what a year it was for Showtime. Uh, Showtime really uh, stepped it up this year in 2012 in a big way. And as we can see uh, with the early calendar of 2013, they have all intentions to continue with that, build on that, and continue to bring the biggest and the best fights to their subscribers. It's a pleasure now for me to introduce to you Steven Espinosa, the Executive Vice President and General Manager of Showtime Sports. Thank you, Richard. Uh, as Richard said, Showtime is committed to bringing its, uh, its fans, its viewers, the biggest names in boxing, as well as to discovering and helping build young stars. Uh, it's a combination of formula that, that has worked well through boxing. It's the type of matchup that we have tonight, just down the street, and it's a, the type of matchup that we will have in February 9th. It's hard to believe it's only been a matter of eight or nine months since uh, Danny Garcia went from an interesting prospect to a bona fide world champion. Uh, with three quality wins over three huge names in the sport, he is now on the short list of boxing's newest young stars. Zab Judah has been on the list of stars for quite a while. And as Richard said, this was an extremely easy fight to make, uh, which is a rarity in boxing. I think Zab was in my office maybe Tuesday morning, after uh, is Monday morning after the October 20th event, so October 22nd. Uh, so he was asking for this fight. When I spoke to Richard Schaefer, took one phone call from Richard to the Garcias, and they were happy with the fight. That's something that never happens in this sport. Uh, so I'll, I'm looking forward to this. I know Brooklyn is looking forward to this. I know all of Philadelphia will be looking forward to this. It'll be a great matchup. This is uh, what we refer to in the sport as a litmus test. Um, Danny is going to have his metal tested. You know, there's this thing, if you know anything about jewelry, there's this thing called an acid test. It's an acid test they use to detect, to detect the presence of gold. Well, that's, uh, that's what we have right here next to me. This is Danny's acid test. Put a drop on it, you'll find if the substance is gold, and that's what we'll find out on February 9th. Thank you very much. Where is the gold, Sam? <laughs> uh, 
By the way, I was just quickly counting here the, the people in attendance. Uh, it's amazing. I've got like almost 200 people here today. So I think that that's an indication the kind of interest this fight will have. So uh, truly, uh, truly exciting. I'd like to thank uh, and acknowledge Bilk uh, Halkias, who is the advisor and, uh, to, uh, to Zab Judah. Uh, I dealt with him primarily to get this done. Uh, really somebody who uh, has the best interest of his fighters in, at heart and uh, was a pleasure to deal with. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bill. Now, Zab Super Judah with 42 and 7, coming off uh, uh, last six of his seven bouts uh, he won. Most recently, a ninth round technical knockout win over then unbeaten Vernon Paris. I don't think I have to introduce to you uh, much or tell you much about uh, Sab Super Chuda, uh, one of the most accomplished boxers of our time. Uh, certainly uh, one of the biggest names ever here from uh, New York. A former four-time world champion at super lightweight and welterweight. Former undisputed welterweight world champion. Uh, really. Uh, a terrific fighter, uh, a fighter who um, I've, I've talked to over the past few years and uh, you know we came up with some possibilities at 147 and so on but no he said I'm gonna stay at 140 uh, that's where I feel comfortable uh, there was no money big enough to lure him to 147 he really wanted to stay at 140 he knows that this is an important fight for him and I am convinced that he will bring everything he has to walk away with those world titles uh, it's a pleasure and an honor for me now to introduce to you Sam Superchuda. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for allowing me to make it here safe, for allowing everybody to be here, and that's to uh, just be campaigning at this level of boxing that we are right now. And, um, you know, I thank Him number one for that. Um, and um, Team Garcia, you know, for allowing this opportunity to go down, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Garcia, Danny, Golden Boy, Showtime. Um, I want to thank uh, my team, Team Judah, Bill Alkias, my Uncle Jimmy, Mo, Daryl, Big Bull, Jack, everybody, Big O, Free, Rick, everybody in the building today, Davina, my publicist. Um, you know, Team Judah, we, 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 you know, we, we already, you know, I think that uh, it's a blessing to have an arena built right in my city, right in the middle of my city, a city that I ran around and did who knows everything in this city. <laughs> now I get to come back here, uh, you know, from, from the first time I won my world title, was, which was 16 years ago. My first world title was right there on Showtime for the IVF. Now I get to come back 16 years later and win the uh, unified title right here in Brooklyn. It was, a, it was a reason why I got Brooklyn tattooed on my back. Because now they got arena for me. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but like I said, um, you know, you got, you know, you got, um, that, uh, you got a hungry Zab Judah. You know, I've been here. I've seen it all. You know, I've seen, I seen, I seen the best of them. You know, I'm pretty sure Danny, you know, she's going to prepare herself to the best of his ability and come in there and, and get it on. And I think that February night, everybody should just get your seatbelts locked in, get your popcorn, because we're going to have a roller coaster take going. Y'all be blessed. Thank you, uh, and, uh, now the next man I want to introduce to you uh, is probably one of the reasons why you're here as well. We always love to hear from him. He's probably one of the most <laughs> prolific characters, well-spoken. Uh, we never really know what happens when he talks. It's always exciting. Uh, and that is no other than Danny's father, uh, Angel Garcia, who is the trainer of the First of all, without the big man, there's nobody in life. Excuse my voice, because I've been like talking like all night and all day. Like, uh, first of all, without him, there's nothing in life. You know, Danny's blessed. You know, I'm blessed because of Danny. Without Danny, it won't be me. So, you know, Danny did the, you know, I do the training, I'll pick some, Danny fights him. That's how we work. You know, the thing is that, you know, like everybody's talking about Zab, Zab, you know, there's that, whatever, you know, they were saying, but the thing, every time he stepped it on, he lost. So, what is the point? Like, he didn't win, like, when he fought Casta Zoo, that was his time. That was Zab's time, Casta Zoo. He didn't proceed, like, to get nothing, you know, he got clipped. But that's okay, though, it happens. But the thing is that, that was his time, his era. There's a new era. You know, it might be in Brooklyn, 
you know, I feel bad for the Brooklyn people. You know, I love y'all. You know, we from Philly, and we like right down the street from y'all. But listen, it's about Philly right now. You know, Philly in the house, still undefeated champion of the world. February 9th, daddy still undefeated. You know, WBA, Ring Magazine, champion of the world, WBC. Still coming home. You know, we're not, we're not leaving that in, in Brooklyn. You know, Zad, I'll give him credit. You know, I'll give him credit. It's going to be work for Danny. 26 and 0, 17 KOs. I say Zad go down in four or five county. Because Zad's a four round fighter. He knows that. You know, you fought, you fought Paris. Not to put Paris on the spot. Because what happens in the gym stays in the gym. But we used him for spar, man. And uh, the first shot Danny Hill, he went down. You took you nine. It took you nine with, with Paris. He don't even do a mile and a half. I'm not trying to put Paris on the spot, but the truth is the truth, and the sky is too big for me to cover it. It took him nine rounds to put Paris down. It rhymes, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, Zach, your time was with Costa Zoo. It's a new era. I respect you because you put gloves on. So any man that put gloves on in life, you got to respect that. That's the only respect I'm giving you It's the gloves. Besides the points that, I mean, I ain't trying to hurt your feelings, I ain't trying to hurt your corner's feelings, but, no, but listen to this, I'm fighting mentally with him, believe that, listen, the difference between, no, listen, 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 listen Zach, it don't matter, it don't matter, dog, it don't matter, listen, it don't matter, it don't fucking matter,
he fight, he knock out by the third round, I guarantee you. Now he mad. He ain't gonna have no fight. He's gonna run that time. He might be out of the street and knock the fuck out. Fire, go over there, baby. That's your hood. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine on the 19th. I'm good. I'll save it for the 19th, dog. Uh. Hey, yeah, what's up, man? Thank you. If everybody could take a seat, they're serving the steaks. <laughs> Yo, no Philly Brooklyn. What you expect, dog? What you expect? Yo, they should have, they should have security on. Whoever is not sitting down now is going to miss out on the steak. everybody to take a seat now and I'm going to have Danny talk, okay? Okay, Danny's going to talk, okay? Okay. Hey, 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 y'all, hey, y'all. On February the 9th, it will be a fight. A real fight between Danny and Sam. That's what's going to happen. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody nowhere scared of nobody. Ain't nobody scared of nobody. On February the 9th, they gonna put the gloves on and do it for themselves. You understand that? Philly! Like I'm saying to the media, I'm here. I'm five times heavy in the world. I ain't never been disrespected. And I ain't never gonna be disrespected. You know what I'm saying? I understand what his father does. I understand, listen to me, I understand what his father does. I have a lot of respect for his father. I have a lot of respect for his father. I gave him nothing but respect. I understand what he did with the Miracon and then it, 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 it with, with Morales, but this is a whole different kind of person. I promise you, my homie. I promise you. I see you. I see you. I see you does not discriminate patients. You need to think about that, pops. I see you don't discriminate patients. You want to end up in a fucking hospital? Keep playing with me, my nigga. Now, 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 Richard Shavers. Okay. Who's that for? Everybody that you're supposed to be. Be quiet, Angel, please. Everybody. Let me have. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'd like to give it over to that, the microphone to Danny Garcia now. Danny Garcia had a great year, great wins this year, terrific performances against against Amir Khan and against Eric Morales. He's being named as one of the candidates for Fighter of the Year. And it's a pleasure for me to introduce to you the undisputed 140 pound world champion, Danny Swift Garcia. Come on, Danny. First of all, first of all, I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity to challenge this level. I want to thank Golden Boy. I want to thank Al Heyman. I want to thank Showtime. And um, come February 9th, it's going to be another epic show. It's going to be another epic. It's going to be, a, it's going to be, matter of fact, come February, come February, come February 9th. Come February 9th. Come February 9th. Come February 9th. I'm going to show you. Everybody. Everybody. Who's that? 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 Who's that?
I'm going to show you how to respect your elders. I'm going to punish you. And that's all I got to say. February 9th for Showtime, I'm going to punish you. I'm going to knock you out. That's it. I ain't got nothing else to say. You know what I mean? I let my dad do the talking. I back it up. I go on it. You're going to be laid out flat. I'm flat for you, but you're going to be laid out flat. I see you here. Everybody, Yo, 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 we're gonna do one on ones. Y'all wanna get this one, yo? Take me out, Take me out. Alright, can we have, we're done with the press conference, we're going to do the interviews now, I need everybody to back off. Photographers, the robots, where there will be no cold shots. Take your seat, we're going to get another call, and the writers are going to be able to talk to the fighters, okay? George, I need you up here please, George. Lisa Milner, come on up. Everybody, please stand back. Photographers, please take a seat. February 9th, don't miss it. Y'all ready to do a one on one, right, Kelly? Garcia, we'll do one on one interviews over at the table to the left, okay? Thank you. This is why I don't, these cameras are driving me crazy. Please, enough. This is your chair, I'm in your chair. I'm trying to I'm trying to Oh, he's going to sit here? Do I have to leave my Can you please step back? This video clipping out of here, please. Lisa, go get Tim and those guys. Andy, right here. All right, calm down. Everybody, calm. Just sit right here for a minute. Sit right here. One second, okay? I need the right. Lisa, get the right Just let me get the video. No video interviews yet. I need the writers first. Sam. 